You know, one of the real, real joys of being on, on the Agriculture Committee, it's not about Democrats and Republicans. There's not a lot of infighting that way at all. <clears throat> it's about regions of the country. Southern agriculture is different than the eyes, Illinois, Iowa, Indiana. We've got different needs. We think standing by the nation's critical rice industry is a worthy investment. So Americans are realizing food security is national security. And on average, every rice farmer commits $1 million to the local economy while hiring six employees. And when you're paying $5 for diesel, $1,000 for urea, um, and you're, you're, you're getting $15 beans or $13 beans may sound good, but at the end of the day, it's, it's really not. So and like as you talk to, to people here, and then as I talk to people from all over the country in Washington, the issues are basically the same. Making sure that we put the safety nets in place that they need so they can continue operations. And then again, quality of life issues throughout, uh, throughout rural America, yeah, making that, sure. Uh, some of these other countries like Canada and Mexico have they're shipping so many tomatoes in where it used to be tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes in southeast Arkansas. We're having to look at cucumbers, bell peppers, and other areas because the Canadian uh, governments are subsidizing their hothouse, greenhouse farmers pretty heavily. And they're able to produce their product, ship it down here in the United States, and sell it cheaper than we can grow it and ship it right here close to home. We really need to look at log truck drivers as producers. And right now, we can't get them insured until they've got two years experience. So while we've talked about crop insurance being critical to farm producers, uh, insurance for log truck drivers is really crucial to forestry production. I also told him that the, the animal science industry is, uh, the demographics are changing, it's becoming female. Uh, minorities are coming on board and we, uh, we need to uh, encourage that. We have more job offerings than we have students graduating to fill those jobs. Input costs go up, interest rates go up, the struggle with trying to find labor that's willing to work that can pass a drug test, the struggles of H-2A visas is get increasingly getting more difficult uh, for the farmers uh, each and every year. And uh, this is about rural America. I say the, the divide in our country is probably more urban than rural than it even is uh, Republican and Democrat right now and we've got to make sure that our rural interests are protected across this country or else the whole country is going to, to suffer greatly.